Matt Nigel here of Baseball with Matt. I am currently on a family vacation to Toronto, Canada, and I am right by the CN Tower, one of the tallest buildings in the world. And you know what that means? I'm also right by Rogers Center, the stadium that will be hosting the Toronto Blue Jays versus the St. Louis Cardinals tonight at 7.07 on June 6, 2014. And guess what? I'm going to the game! Oh, just look at this view. Oh, the dome is open. Ah, oh, it's so beautiful. Hey guys, so I'm inside Rogers Center right now. It's actually the 25th anniversary of Rogers Center. It was created in 1989. It was known as, as the Sky Dome until 2005 when it was renamed the Rogers Center in honor of Rogers Communications, a telephone company in Toronto. Starters today on the mound for each team are going to be Lance Lynn of the St. Louis Cardinals and Marcus Stroman for the Toronto Blue Jays. Now, Lance Lynn has a slightly better record on the mound than Stroman, but the Toronto Blue Jays as a whole have a better record than the St. Louis Cardinals. So, I mean, the game can basically go either way. We'll just have to wait and see. Game is starting. Marcus Stroman is getting on the mound. And we're about to start this game. Blue Jays versus Cardinals. Let's go. Oh, no. Oh, man, wait. 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 Oh, man, AL Player of the Month for May. Let's see if he gets a homer. Come on, Edwin. Let's go. So, guys, Juan Francisco just flew out, and Edwin Encarnacion could not capitalize on that bases loaded chance. So, it's still 1 0 Cardinals after one, but hopefully the Blue Jays can come back. That's it, Dave. It's okay. Fly out. Cardinals to lead one nothing, but the Blue Jays are coming to bat. tied with the Cardinals after four innings. We still got five innings to go. So hopefully the Blue Jays can pull ahead or hopefully they go to extras and something interesting happens. Hey guys, what do you think all the fans are cheering? I wonder. I think it's because Red Lorry just hit a home run. That's right, Blue Jays are leading. What a bit. Let's go. Batista just hit into a triple play. Oh my god. Guys, that was crazy. Oh my god. Wow. Okay, anyway, end of the sixth inning. It's still 2 1 Blue Jays, but wow, I am still mesmerized at that play. Marcus Stroman's night is over. He went six plus. One run given up. It was a great effort. Thank you so much, Marcus, and let's hope that the Blue Jays can win for him. Guys, Jose Reyes is an RBI single. 3-1 Blue Jays. We got one more half an inning until the Blue Jays win. Let's hope that Mr. Casey Jensen knows this the up for us.
baseball fans, Matt Nidell here. Uh, it's the morning after the Blue Jays beat the Cardinals 3-1. Uh, to be specific, it's June 7, 2014, and I quickly just want to talk about a play that I didn't get great footage of, and I think it is very important. So, anyway, top nine, one out, Cardinals are up, Blue Jays are on the field. Tony Cruz for the Cardinals hits a long fly ball to right field, perfectly catchable for Jose Bautista. However, a fan interferes with the play because the fly ball was right near the stands. Uh, so after much deliberation, uh, the actually young fan, to my knowledge, I think he was escorted out of the stadium, but anyway, the umpires eventually called Tony Cruz out, and it was so exciting because all the fans were wondering what was going on, and as soon as I saw the play uh, on the Jumbotron, because where I was sitting, I didn't get a great view of it, so on the Jumbotron, as soon as I saw it, I would automatically thought of Steve Vartman in the 2003 NLCS when uh, uh, Moises Alou couldn't catch a fly ball in left because of Bartman's interference. Uh, but just in Rogers Center, as soon as the play was called out, the entire stadium erupted, and it was so cool, so exciting. And I was screaming, and my mom was screaming, and everyone was screaming, and it was crazy. Uh, but anyway, I'm going to leave a link in the description for a recap of the game. Thanks for watching this video. Uh, I hope you enjoyed it. Uh, once again, check back on my YouTube channel. Uh, Matt Nadell, or my two blogs, baseballwithmatt.blogspot.com and baseballwithmatt.mlblogs.com. For more on all the buzz, I'm what was.